here is a statically determinate beam with an overhang. The beam is subjected to a uniformly distributed load. We want to calculate the support reactions, which can be done using the static equilibrium equations. To write the equilibrium equations, we need to select a sign convention. This diagram shows the assumed positive directions of forces and bending moments. We start by drawing the beam's free body diagram. The diagram shows the support reactions and the applied load. Uniformly distributed loads can be viewed as rectangles. The height of such a rectangle represents the intensity of the distributed load. In this case, since the beam is subjected to a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter, the height of the rectangle is 2. We can replace the distributed load with its equivalent point load to calculate the support reactions. As you can see, the point load's magnitude equals the area of this rectangle. Since the rectangle has a height of 2 and a base of 3, the equivalent point load has a magnitude of 6 kN. 2 kN per meter times 3 meters yields 6 kN. The point load is placed at the geometric center of the rectangle, which is located 1.5 meters to the right of point B. We are now ready to write the equilibrium equations using this free body diagram. Summing the forces in the x and y directions we get, taking the sum of the moments of the forces at point B we get, solving the moment equilibrium equation for AY we get, we can then solve for BY using the second equilibrium equation. And the first equation gives us AX equals 0. We can represent the analysis results graphically by showing the calculated support reactions on the free body diagram. Since AY was determined to be negative 0.9 kN, we have flipped the direction of the force arrow and written positive 0.9 kN as its magnitude. 